Hi, this is Elsa's pet, and my name is Jody. Now, today we're looking at Wheel of Fortune Free Play made by Scopely. I'm going to show you how to uh, save your boxes. So, any any boxes any event boxes just every single thing every reward box that comes in every shape color and and I'm also going to be talking about why you might be saying why what's the point of it well the point is I've got so many things down here that I've saved but I've also completed each event so these are extras now the higher cities have bigger money but the lower cities Now you can also do this. The lower cities have better, like on Val Blast for two hundred and forty-six. Um, two hints for two hundred and twenty-four souvenirs, and three helping hands for two hundred. 124 as opposed to when you get into those higher cities if you want those things you can be paying up to you can be having to open so many boxes like the two hints here it's 650 which amounts to a lot of boxes Three helping hands for 710 souvenirs, which turns into, I can't remember how many boxes. Two, two vowel blasts here for 2,000 souvenirs. 2,000 souvenirs is about 100 boxes. Whereas down below, you get them for about you can get them for about six boxes if that anyway let's go on to saving boxes so I don't want to play Manchester because the money it's I don't know if I can say crap but it's crappy. Jamaica has better money. So here we go. Now to get through this quickly, I'm just going to like use my vowel blast down there. So I can just like move things along. <sighs> Still don't know what it is, but... Um, I'm sure it's got an S in it because it says it's things. Getting that multiplier wedge so early is a bummer. Because whatever score you've got up top, like under little Elsa there, if I got that multiply wedge and picked one letter, it would double it and add it on. Now, I think this is paper lanterns, so I'm going to keep the double P up the top until the last, because that's usually when I get that multiplication wedge. 
uh, didn't happen. Okay, so. Now we come on to here. Go into your bonus round. Um, I'm going to guess this one is inbox and outbox. Just a little thing, if you're ever like stuck, you can gently just, whoops, like push it up. Those things usually aren't behind it. And have a look at it. And see, but just, okay, so that's that. So now I'm going to resume inbox and outbox. Now I'm going to solve it. I'm going to hit that continue once. When you're on this screen, this is where you minimize your screen. Sorry those screens are under it. But you, now from now on in every video that I talk about this type of stuff, I'm going to say you swipe that screen away. So swipe them away. I'm going to swipe all of them away here. There we go. So you swipe it away. You open it back up. And that box is saved. Just got to find them. Now if you have any questions, just feel free to put them in the comments. And I'll answer them because if you can, if you, a lot. I found this sort of hack on when I first started playing. I found it accidentally. Um, I I shared it with a lot of players, and so a lot of people know how to how to do it, but I found that people don't like sharing it. They like to keep it to themselves. Whereas I'm like, well, it helps me and makes the game more fun for me. So why not share it with everyone and it makes the game more fun for them and easier. So there it is. It went up one. And that's the end of that. Oh the money everything you might be wondering about the money that you earn does that still save yes it does you might be wondering about this star chest you know if you swipe the game away does this still open yes it does but you won't see what's in it but if you want to see what's in it um, you can always go down into here and go into active and see what's come up from that star chest. Okay guys, hope you have a lovely day. Now I've got to figure out how to turn off this and upload it.